love is wasted time Look inside your heart I'll look inside mine Things look so bad everywhere In this whole world What is fair We walk blind But we try and see Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Higher Love by Steve Winwood, one of my all-time favorites. Well, this song, you know, I, I sort of grew up listening to the song. It seemed like it was often in the tape deck of my parents' car, uh, driving around. You know, I sort of rediscovered it when I was playing guitar later as a teenager, and I thought, this is a great song. So it became sort of a staple cover song for me in my 20s, um, and played it all around you know, Northern California, where I'm from. And I kind of thought of this song recently because I just actually moved back here uh, into Sonoma County, where I'm from, to teach at Santa Rosa Junior College. A little life update there. Very happy to be back. I was in Colorado for four years, LA for five years before that, getting my master's and doctorate. Colorado, I was, you know, teaching my first community college job. I went ahead and did it in standard E flat, so I'm gonna tune up for the lesson, don't worry. But if you wanna play along with my demo, you'd wanna go into standard E flat. I did that because I used to sing it actually in F, so it's much better for for a, a lesson in G because we get a lot of open chords and it's easier to play. But I'm used to singing it in F, and my voice is you know not as high as Steve Winwood. So uh, some amazing production on this song. Shaka Khan sang background vocals. It's not even background. She's like singing lead and and as well as Steve Winwood. They're kind of harmonizing a lot and. She's in the music video, so it's a really good music video. Huge fan of Steve Winwood. Uh, I've done, you know, Can't Find My Way Home, which was Steve Winwood's band with Eric Clapton, Blind Faith. So I'll leave a link for that. It's another great song to learn. So this song is truly fascinating. You know, higher love, obviously, powerful message, powerful lyrics. One of the reasons I love the song. Very relevant today. What's fascinating with the music theory is he starts as if he's in the key of G. And that's like a one five four five, right? But he takes us higher with a key by modulating really to a fifth above, which is D. So, so to get us to that higher key in the chorus, he's sort of, you know, starting out in G. And you can really see it's in G here because it goes six, five. And those, all four of those chords are just standard key of G. But then on the second half of the verse, he goes here, and then all of a sudden, okay. And this provides a new key center. This is really one five of D. And then the pre-chorus goes five to six in D. So he's kind of just modulating sneakily, three to four, back to five chord, four, one. We're really in D now. And then he's setting it up one more time, three, six, which is the relative minor. Now on the chorus, just classic four chord song, that's a four, one, five, six. Very, very common. Full chord, one chord, five, six. So he's left the key of G behind. He's taken us up to D. You know, a lot of gospel songs will uplift you by going up a whole step or a half step. Steve Winwood just decided to go up a whole fifth, which is seven half steps. So a huge lift there in the in the tonality. Just a wonderful melody. The, the guitar part in the song is is electric and there's some nice fills. But, you know, we want to play this on acoustic guitar with strumming, so we're going to take the more strumming aspect approach to this song. There'll be a full tab and chord sheet on the Patreon with some suggested strumming patterns, 
and I'll throw in a couple fills, the synth fills and stuff that you can throw in there. But really, we just want to get strumming this song, um, and it's all about the rhythm. So we, we want to mute a lot. We want to make sure we're, you know, not just doing this. So I'll teach you that here in this lesson, and uh, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. We're going to get back to a lot more videos here. Um, sort of took a little break as I was moving and transitioning to a new job, but I think things are starting to settle down. So really looking forward to getting back on track here and look forward to uh, jumping on in. Let's go ahead. All right, so the concert key is actually B flat. It's obviously not a very friendly key for the guitar. Steve Winwood is an amazing guitarist, but he's mainly known as really a keyboard and organ player. Um, so, you know, we don't, we don't want to really play it in B-flat. I played it in F and used the same bar shapes, but um, I wouldn't say that was the most friendly guitar key either, so I'm doing it in G for this lesson. And the great thing about music is that it's relative, so if you want to take it to a different key, you can either grab a capo, put it on the third fret, and then you'd be in the key of the song, or um, you could take it down to F like I did but then you're dealing with a lot of bar chords. So up to you. I'm going to recommend this because uh, I'll try to make it a little more accessible for all levels. Now, what we want to do is understand the rhythm of the song. The verse is coming in after a little drum fill. So you can kind of warm it up. That's how I would do it when I cover this live with my band. And just a little strumming, two, three, four. And then start on the downbeat. So that's going to be G, and then think about one and two and. So that's down, 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 down. Now I'm muting. People think, sometimes people think that muting is all right hand. It's actually all left hand or mostly left hand. So you're gonna wanna play it and then just fold your fingers down, and do some strums. We're kinda trying to recreate the production of 80s pop which is not easy, but it's a fun challenge because we get to sort of act like we're synthesizers almost, and we're really following the keyboard and the drum fills, which are driving the song. So we want to go down, mute, 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 mute kind of thing, and then D chord down, and then up, down, 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 up, for instance. Then a C over G, same rhythm, to D. So that's one and two and three and four and one and two. Now to C to G. Now E minor to D. And then I, I added this little fill there that's a hammer on to second fret third string after the D chord. So it would be like, So that's to taste, right? I, you don't have to add those fills, but they're kind of nice. So let's play through the verse slowly. That's the first half. And then the second half is a little different. But let's get through the first half together. One, two, three. Think about it. D. C over G. D. Fill. C. G. Try to get that groove. E minor. D. Fill. Now the second half, we end with D to A instead of E minor to D. So let's do the second half. One, two, three. Without it. D. Life is C over D. And then C. And then. Here comes D, D M to A. That's where you modulate to D very cleverly. So then the pre-chorus comes in and you can just start to open up the strumming because you'll hear like a synthetic choir come in. I'm pretty sure it's synthetic. Really like it, you know, It's but it's clearly sampled. So nice 80s production here where we can kind of let the chords ring out. So it's A, things. And I'm kind of, kind of going down, 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 up. But feel free to experiment with it. Now B minor. A, whole world, F sharp to G. So that's downbeat, downbeat. Okay, and then we repeat A, this time G, D. A, F sharp minor, B minor. So that's a lot, so we're gonna go through it all. This song has a ton of chords, and the song form is quite complex. So I'm just gonna have to breeze through it. Patreon has the chord sheet where you can follow along with the words or with the chords either way. Ready? We're going to do the whole pre-chorus. I'm going to call out the chords. Ready? Three, four, A. B minor. Here we 
go A, F sharp minor to G, back to A, coming up G to D, da da ba ba A, and then F sharp minor to B minor. That leads to the chorus, okay? So, now the chorus is the fun part because we just get to repeat four chords over and over, and it's a... Uh, it's the hook. So we've modulated to D. This is the four chord, one chord, five chord, six chord. Classic four chord uh, pop song. So we start on G and it's open, meaning we're not muting like the verse. So it's. Now I'm going down, 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 up because really the downbeat takes precedence on the chorus. So we just want to bam, bam, bam. Every downbeat is strummed, right? So the rhythm of this is two beats, two beats beat and a half, right? So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, and four, one, two, three, four, one, and the two, e and. So that happens three times. The fourth time it goes B minor to A. So let's run that. Um, ready? Three, four. G, give me a D to A. That's the first time. Second time. Bring me Okay, fourth time, where's that I love? This time we go B minor to A. Thinking of the second verse. Go back to muting your chords. Fill G to then G. We're mimicking all the production of the song. All right, so after the second verse, we actually have a little interlude before the pre-chorus. Really cool. So, you know, the, the verse ends with... Then we would expect A to the pre-chorus, but instead, after D to A, we go. Okay, you do this riff. Now you could start on the bass, but it's kind of tricky there. I would recommend it here, or just doing both. But here's nice. Just some B minor pentatonic kind of riff. So that's. Four, four on the third string, two, four, two, four, two, four, three, four, okay, on the second string, three. So that's, again, four, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, three, four, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, three, four, four, two, four, two, four, four, two, four, four, and then five, five, three, four. I know it's a lot of repetitions, but that's just the synthesizer style. Then you go back to the pre-chorus. You've already learned that. Okay, that takes you to the chorus. Now the chorus is a double chorus, so you just repeat the chorus twice. And then we have this awesome bridge. There's like three bridges in this song, it's hilarious. But there's two in reality. There's two, there's a pre-chorus and interlude. So this is the first bridge. So after a double chorus, I've been thinking of, he goes, I will wait. Really cool. Now this is probably the most complicated rhythm of the whole song. So I'm going to go through it, but, uh, you know, proceed with the understanding that you're going to have to listen to the song a bit to sort of match it up. But after B minor to A, here we go. It's going to be G, A, B minor. All right, so I'm going to first play this and then say the rhythms and then slow it down. Ready? So it's dotted quarter note, meaning one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So it's then up, down, then down, up, down. See? That's called a dotted rhythm right there where it keeps switching from the downbeat to the upbeat. I will weigh down, up, down. Then A, B minor, down, up, down. Okay? G, A, B minor, that's different. That's down, down, down. Now, just A twice, down, down, G. A, B minor, and then again, down, down, the A twice, back to G. And then you go back to this part. It's really a wild song form because now we go back to this interlude. The interlude's extended after four bars of this. <laughs> we have three more bars. It's pretty crazy. Hard to count out, but I'm just going to go for it here and hope that you can pretty much play the song if you spend enough time with it. After you do this for four bars, bring the high up. So then it's a bar of three. Okay, and then you kind of just survive that. It's kind of tough. 
to count it out in the moment, but you just do it. Then you have two bars of four. So you have seven bars. So why don't I play all seven bars here? Ready? Three, four. Two. Three. Four. Bring the high. One, two, three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Okay, so when you're jamming this song, you just kind of got to feel it and count it out to learn it, but then just, just play it. Because as I'm counting, I'm messing up. Now we get to the second bridge. Really cool stuff. A chord. I can light the night up with my soul on fire. Again, down, 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 up. This is three bars. Three, two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, G. B minor, C over G, G, B minor, G, D, A, and the octaves. So let's run that um, second bridge again. I'm going to call it the chords, starting at A. Three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two. Here comes a G. That's three bars. Now G. Good. One, two to B minor. Down to G, B minor, G, D then to A. Now a build up. Okay, this is the five chord, the A chord, the five of D. So he does some octaves with the synthesizers. Open seventh fret fourth string, tenth fret second string, and I'm just gonna go back and forth for four bars. Third bar, fourth bar. Back to the chorus, baby. Congratulations, you've learned this really lengthy, complicated song. I'll put the chord melody on the Patreon. I like how this sounded. I probably won't put all that in the Patreon, but I'll put on, you know, the basic idea. So I'm just combining the chord and melody there. So that's the song. Then it's another, you know, it's 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 the chorus. There's a little like ding tick tick almost electronic breakdown when it goes, you know. It kind of ska sounding almost like reggae sounding. And then Shaka Khan, bring me a higher love, and it's all unaccompanied. So this is production magic that is kind of hard to teach on a guitar, but you can simply do it by going to a breakdown after that, and then whoever you're singing with, if you're singing with a band, bring me a high, or if you're just sing singing by yourself or for your friends and family, just, you know, mimic the song, but listen to the song, and you've got all the tools, then it just goes back into the chorus, and then they jam out the chorus to finish the song. So, sorry if this is convoluted, but really when you have um, a handful of chords that just keep changing, it just ends up being a great song that takes a while to learn. So I wouldn't say this is easy, even though it seems like it could be because it's just G to D to C, but then it's like, whoa, what's happening here? So there you go. There's my defense at, at any sloppy teaching here, but the Patreon should clear it up for you, and I hope you enjoy this song as much as I have. Um, it's, it's a really one of a kind. Enjoy. See you next lesson.